Practice problem 614. An ice boat traveling in a circle on the ice. Travel halfway around the circle, the sail and the steering mechanism fall off the boat. Which statement is correct? Let's take a top view of this ice boat as it's going around in a horizontal circle. So we have this boat. For it to maintain a horizontal circle, there must be a centripetal force on it towards the center of the circle. And so if that uh, force, which is being supplied by the wind, is taken away, in other words, if the sail drops and the steering mechanism drops, there will be no net force towards the center of the circle, and this ice boat then will then continue in a straight line according to Newton's first law. So if there is no net force, then uh, it will move in a straight line at constant velocity for no net force, at least in the horizontal direction. According to Newton's first law. So the boat will continue traveling in a circle because there's no friction. That's not true. B, the boat will continue to travel in a circle because its velocity exerts a force on it. Not true. No net force in the horizontal direction. It'll move in a straight line. C, the boat will move off in a line tangent to the circle because there is no force on it. That is true, at least in the horizontal direction. There's, there's still gravity and normal force in the vertical direction, but we're not worried about that. D, the boat will move off in a tangent to the circle because there is a force on it perpendicular to the boat direct to the outside of the circle. No, no force on it at all because the sail is gone. E, the boat will move off to the outside perpendicular to the tangent line since a force directed to the outside of the circle always acts on the boat. Again, no force. So our only answer is C, which means once we are in the absence of a force, we will move in a straight line at constant velocity according to Newton's first law.